this is the challenge for the second video uh, if you pause the video now you can then have a go the top one is one of the easiest ones or what I consider the easiest one and the bottom one is the more difficult one if you pause the video and then I will work through some exemplar answers so these are some exemplar answers that I've created uh, top one challenge one which is here second one is challenge two and obviously challenge three now if I just minimize this shell or remove the shell out of the way for a second and then we can have a look then at how we have essentially answered some of these so the top part of this if I just move that up uh, the first one was to create a program which can take two numbers add them together and divide by three a uh, bit of a trick with this one you should really look at putting the first part in brackets because otherwise with the rules of bid mass it will do the division first so it will divide this number 2 by 3 and then add number 1 whereas the question does ask to take two numbers add them together and then add by 3 uh, that does catch some people out but Python does follow the rules of bid mass the second one there, create a program that takes five numbers outputs the total sum on one line and multiplies all of the numbers on another line. Um, I've done the first part there. I just noticed I haven't done the multiplication, so that's fine. Uh, if I just do print num1 multiplied by num2 multiplied num num3 multiplied num4 multiplied by num5. Now, all correctly spaced as well. So that is essentially the output there. Then the bottom one, write a program which can ask a user for three numbers, add the numbers and store the answer as a variable called total, then print the total. So this is challenge three, so it's number one, number two, number three. And obviously then we are working backwards in Python, so number one, two, three, adding these together, it'll save as total. And then what I've done, it says your total is whatever the total is. So let's run this program now. It'll run in order, so it'll do challenge one first hopefully. If I do run run module. You just get the shell back over here. So let's test this first program out. So it's coming up with give me a number. And the first part there is give me a number on. So if I do Five as an example. Six, set four, five, six. So the first program is here, and the second program is here, and this now is the third program which we're going into. It does look a little bit confusing. Perhaps I should have spaced this out a little bit better. Uh, give me a number five, eight, and nine and then your total is 22. Now we could, if we wanted to, because I've done all of these on one line, I should have really put in um, a few spaces here, but you can kind of see now how it's worked out fairly well for us. So that's the answers to the first challenge. Uh, if you've got any questions, please post them below.